buy, pay and activate it. Yes, things like this happen in Italy. Crazy, I know, but it happened in Milan. That crazy and chaotic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to tackle a very peculiar topic that is very, very specific for Italy and I got numerous questions about it because I think there are so many people who come to Italy and are really surprised, if not to say shocked, by this thing. Anyway, guys, today I'm gonna talk about Zona del Trafico Limitato, which is known as ZTL here in Italy, meaning the limited traffic zone that many travelers and expats, me included, may encounter when coming to Italy and may get fined for at least once. So without further ado, if you're ready, let's get into the video. Limited traffic zones are a huge, huge headache for all first-time drivers in Italy. And essentially it means that there are areas in basically every Italian city or even Italian town, small village, where you cannot enter by car, where you cannot drive unless you're exempt or if you buy a special permit. And there are several reasons for the establishment of these areas. First of all, it aims at reducing the CO2 emission in the cities, especially in big cities where there are lots of cars, by reducing the car circulation and also because uh, they want to create more walkable areas and Italians walk a lot and actually it's a good thing, you know, when you can walk without worrying about the cars coming at you. And in my opinion personally, the third reason is that some streets in Italy and Italian cities are actually so narrow that if there were more cars entering there, they just get stuck there and create traffic jams. In most cases, these areas cover the majority of the historical center. Some of them are active every day, 24-7, while others are active only during the day, or Monday through Friday, or Friday evening through Sunday evening as to cover the weekend, but it really depends. And the best way to verify if you can enter any given zone on any given time is by searching uh, for the special ZTL maps online and I will leave you a link in the description box for those. Guys, if you like my content and if you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below if you're new here. And if you want to support my channel, hit the thanks button down below because I really, really appreciate your help in running this channel. The entries are usually controlled by cameras electronically, so there is very little chance that you can get away with it, even if it happened by mistake. And it happened to me at least once while driving in Bologna for the very first time. I simply didn't notice the, the limited traffic zone sign and I entered this area. I had no idea about it, but yet I received my fine. The fine usually arrives by mail within three months from the date when you uh, make your entry and can go from 80 euros up to 330 euros, I think. Then you have about two months to pay your fine because after that it will increase by 10% and will keep increasing every six months. So yeah, better pay your fines, guys. However, there are always ways to avoid them. In the two months following your letter with the fine, you can make an appeal if you don't agree with the fine. Obviously, don't try to make an appeal if you just didn't notice the sign and entered by mistake. However, if you can verify that your car wasn't there or if you didn't enter there or like, you know, you have the proof that it wasn't you, then you can make an appeal. And to find out how to make an appeal and to find out how to avoid the fines, this and other fines as well, check out my Patreon page. I will leave you a link in the description box where I have a detailed post on all the spendings in Italy and how to save money, including how to save money on fines. I also have many other interesting and useful info there, starting from custom travel itineraries and uh, finishing with how to find rent in Italy, which can be a headache, especially in a city like Bologna. So if you are a traveler or an expert or prospective expert, make sure to check it out. Going back to our ZTL, obviously guys, the best way to avoid them is to pay close attention to the road signs so you don't accidentally cross the line. However, don't panic if you find a perfect place to live inside the limited traffic zone, namely the historical center of any Italian city or town. If you're staying for a short term, make sure to contact your hotel or your host because there are different ways that uh, different places manage this situation if you're coming by car. And if you're staying long term, don't worry at all because residents in these areas are allowed to enter 
without any problems. And even if you're not a resident, but you need to enter the city center, you can buy a pass either for one day or for four consecutive days. And then you have to activate it because usually the pass is an electronic one. So yeah, make sure to buy, pay and activate it. And then you can uh, go and uh, visit the limited traffic zone, the historical center by car. Now moving on to something that had me a total shock a few weeks ago when I received a letter from Milan saying that uh, I entered accidentally the new limited traffic zone. Guys, I was pretty sure there was known and yet I received the letter luckily not with a fine but only with a warning. Yes, things like this happen in Italy. However, that letter said that Milan has recently implemented a new limited traffic zone, the biggest limited traffic zone in Italy, and it was active apparently since 2019, but I had no clue about it and I entered that area, but they had a few rules that applied to people like me, who are not residents, but enter Milan, you know, every now and then and drive there and still I wasn't fined. Even though initially there were just a few cars that couldn't enter that area, and these are usually determined based on the type of petrol you use, from October 2022, almost all cars cannot enter anymore. And there will be even more petrol types that will be gradually added towards 2030. But don't panic, it's not that bad. Well, yet. Until October 2023, all cars, residents or not, will be able to enter this zone and drive inside this zone for 50 days, not necessarily consecutive, without being fined. After that, after October 2023, the residents will get 25 more days to drive around and non-residents will get only five more days to drive around this area, but they'll have to register their entry beforehand. Crazy, I know, but it happened in Milan. At least this area is active only Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Anyway, guys, it's always better to verify whether you can enter any particular area. The area I was talking about in Milan is called Area B. But, for example, in Area C in Milan, which is another limited traffic area, you can enter if you pay and activate your e-ticket in advance. Driving in Italy is not that crazy and chaotic as it may seem, especially once you get a hold of it and learn about all the limits and rules and zones, and once you get used to all the different things here and to driving here, I promise it gets easier. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you drive safely while in Italy and that you don't encounter too many surprises. But anyway, I will keep you updated both here and on my Patreon page about all the surprises that you may find in Italy so that you are prepared. If you're new here, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell button. And obviously, guys, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day!